Have you ever wondered how to start investing in stocks? Before anything else, you need to build a solid financial foundation. Just like constructing a building, your financial journey requires a solid foundation. This foundation is your emergency fund, a safety net designed to catch you during life's unexpected turns. Whether it's a sudden job loss, an unplanned medical expense, or an urgent home repair, this fund ensures you're prepared. Your target? Aim to save an amount equivalent to 3 to 12 months worth of living expenses. This might sound like a challenge, but remember Rome wasn't built in a day. Now you might be asking, how do I find the money to save up for this? Well, the answer lies in your spending habits. It's time to take control and find ways to save. Yes, it might mean forgoing that daily latte, or perhaps it's about cooking at home more often. Or maybe it's about reevaluating that gym membership you barely used. The point is, every bit counts, and each penny saved is a penny that can be invested in your future. The internet is a treasure trove of advice on budgeting and saving. There are countless apps, blogs, and forums out there ready to guide you on your journey to financial stability. And remember, this isn't about depriving yourself of joy or comfort. It's about making smart choices that lead to long-term financial health. Building a solid financial foundation is the first step towards becoming a successful investor. It's about creating stability amidst uncertainty and developing habits that foster financial growth. It's about understanding that every little bit counts and that your small sacrifices today can lead to big rewards tomorrow. So, take the time to build your emergency fund and learn to control your spending. Recognize the value of each dollar and see it as an opportunity to invest in your future. With a stable financial base, you're ready to dive into the world of stock investing. Now that you have your financial foundation, it's time to understand the basics of investing. You see, investing is a bit like a chess game. You need a strategy, and you need to understand the pieces on the board. In this case, those pieces are stocks, and the board is the stock market. So, let's start at the beginning. To invest in stocks, you need a licensed stockbroker. Think of them as your gateway to the stock market. They're the ones who execute the trades on your behalf. You decide which stocks you want to invest in, and they make it happen. It's a partnership where you're the strategist, and they're your hands on the board. Now, you might be wondering how do I maintain control over my investments? Well, that's where investment accounts come into play. In the US, for instance, you can consider opening a 401k or a Roth IRA. These accounts offer you close access to the stocks you invest in. Investment accounts are like your personal chessboard. They provide a platform where you can make your moves, strategy adjustments, and monitor your progress. They're especially suitable for short or near-term investing, as you have direct control over your investments. Imagine having a chessboard where you can move the pieces whenever you want, monitor the game in real time, and adjust your strategy based on the progress. That's what an investment account offers you. It's your personal playing field where you can strategize, execute, and monitor your investments. But remember, just like chess, investing requires strategy and understanding of the game. It's not just about buying and selling stocks, it's about understanding the market, knowing when to make a move, and most importantly, having a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Investing is a journey, and understanding the basics is your first step on this path. With a solid financial foundation and a basic understanding of investing, you're now ready to start your journey. Armed with this basic knowledge, you're one step closer to becoming a stock investor. Now let's move on to the next part of our journey, developing numeracy skills for investing. A good investor knows his numbers. Let's talk about the numeracy skills you'll need. First, let's delve into financial statements. These are the report cards of a company's financial health. They include the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. The balance sheet communicates a company's assets, liabilities, and shareholder equity. The income statement reveals the company's revenues, costs, and profit or loss. The cash flow statement shows how cash moves in and out of a company. These three statements together provide a comprehensive snapshot of a company's financial performance. Next comes financial ratios. These are mathematical comparisons of different aspects of a company's financial data. The most common ratios investors use are the price-to-earnings ratio, debt-to-equity ratio, and return on equity. The price-to-earnings ratio compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. This helps assess whether a stock is over or underpriced. The debt-to-equity ratio shows a company's total debt compared to its shareholder equity, useful for gauging a company's financial leverage. 
The return on equity measures a corporation's profitability by revealing how much profit a company generates with the money shareholders have invested. Now let's talk about basic calculations. As an investor, you need to be able to calculate yield, return on investment, and compound annual growth rate, among others. Yield is the income return on an investment. Return on investment measures the gain or loss made on an investment relative to the amount of money invested. Compound annual growth rate calculates the mean annual growth rate of an investment over a specified period longer than one year. Finally, there's the skill of reading charts and graphs. These visual tools help investors interpret complex data sets at a glance. They can show trends, patterns, and volatility in the market or a specific stock's performance. The most common types are line charts, bar charts, and candlestick charts. Each type provides a unique way to visualize price movements and can be used to make predictions about future trends. With these numeracy skills, you have the tools to make informed investment decisions. Now let's delve into the two pillars of successful investing, staying informed and managing risks. Knowledge is power, especially in the world of investing. Staying updated with financial news is not just an option, it's a necessity. It's like keeping your finger on the pulse of the market. Understanding the ebb and flow of the economy, keeping tabs on market trends, and knowing the indicators that signal change are crucial. But it's not just about the broad strokes of the economy. You also need to zoom in on specific companies. Company-specific news can have a significant impact on stock prices. A new product launch, a change in leadership, or a shift in company strategy can all cause ripples in the stock market, so staying informed on a macro and micro level is the key to making sound investment decisions. Now, on to the second pillar, risk management. Investing is not a gamble, it's a calculated risk. Diversifying your investments is one way to manage these risks. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, as the old saying goes. Instead, spread your investments across different sectors and asset classes. This approach can help cushion your portfolio against market volatility. Setting clear investment goals is another critical aspect of risk management. Are you investing for long-term growth, or are you looking for short-term gains? Your investment strategy should align with your goals and risk tolerance. Remember, higher potential returns often come with higher risks. So, it's essential to strike a balance that you're comfortable with. Lastly, accept that investing involves both potential gains and losses. The stock market is not a one-way street. There will be ups and downs, but don't let the fear of losses deter you. Instead, use it as a learning opportunity to refine your investment strategy. By staying informed and managing risks, you're well on your way to becoming a savvy investor. Remember, the journey to successful investing is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So arm yourself with knowledge, manage your risks wisely, and keep your eyes on the prize. Finally, one of the best ways to learn is from those who've done it before. Let's talk about learning from experts. When it comes to stock investing, there are countless seasoned professionals who have navigated the tumultuous seas of the stock market and come out on top. These individuals possess a wealth of knowledge that can be incredibly beneficial to budding investors. One surefire way to tap into this treasure trove of knowledge is to take courses or certifications related to stock trading and investing. These programs are designed to equip you with the tools you need to analyze market trends, understand financial statements, and make informed investment decisions. They are often taught by industry veterans who share their tips and tricks, giving you an inside look at the strategies that have helped them succeed. But the learning doesn't stop there. In fact, it should never stop. The world of investing is dynamic and ever-changing. As such, continuous education is key. Make it a point to stay current on the latest investment strategies, market trends, and financial news. Another highly effective method of learning is seeking advice from industry professionals and experienced investors. These individuals have been where you are now. They've made mistakes, learned from them, and have valuable insights to share. Don't be afraid to reach out, ask questions, seek guidance, and listen to their stories. Remember, there's no such thing as a foolproof investment strategy. What works for one investor might not work for another. The key is to gather as much information as possible, learn from those who have been successful, and then develop a strategy that works for you. Investing, like any other skill, takes time to master. Don't get discouraged if you don't see immediate results. There will be ups and downs, wins and losses. But with every decision you make, you're gaining experience. Remember, stock investing is a skill that improves with practice, education, and experience. 
Start small, learn continuously, and be patient as you develop your investment abilities. So there you have it, your guide to getting started with stock investing. We've journeyed through building a solid financial foundation, understanding the basics of investing, and mastering numeracy skills crucial for the trade. We've discussed the importance of staying informed, practicing risk management, and learning from seasoned experts. Each step is a crucial piece of the puzzle, leading you towards your goal. With these steps, you're well on your way to becoming a successful stock investor. Happy investing. Happy investing.